something that's like salty enough for people are gonna start drinking and having a good time, but not like filling enough. I mean, try to stay away from carbs for appetizers because it's just gonna fill you up. The starter could be something with seafood or uh, smoked salmon. Always start with a little bit of soup, dollop of creme fraiche, a little bit of olive oil, and bingarino. Maybe some fried sage. Throw a little fried sage on top of that bad boy and like you get fancy. Just you want your appetizers to be like light dips. Switch up like the you know, typical like blue cheese or ranch dressing with the coup de tays. Maybe like a meat, make like a miso uh, dressing which is like gonna be dairy free and also vegan. I always do also a pumpkin soup, serving the pumpkin and the marshmallow floating on the pumpkin soup. I make my own marshmallow with uh, cinnamon and uh, ginger spice. Foie gras is always good, caviar. The quick recipe for an amazing apple pumpkin soup, just sort of a set and forget kind of thing, is um, any kind of pumpkin really, or squash. Peel some apples, break down your pumpkins. Obviously you have to peel your pumpkins and peel your squash. Put them into a pot, a big pot, with star anise, cinnamon sticks, and cloves, um, and let it go. Uh, you also want to put some onions in there. I like to like like sweat some shallots and onions together before I drop everything in. Once they're in there, you put it on low to medium heat. Um, once they cook down a bunch and they're sort of mushy, pull them out, drop them in a blender, and boom, you've got your Thanksgiving soup. Light appetizers because really it's all about the turkey, it's all about the side, it's all about stuffing. If I was giving this like the regular human beings that don't know how to cook really well advice on how to spice up your appetizers, I would say like keep it simple. Just keep it simple.